am trying the new CGMS, which is the Lynx. And I want to show you the process and how I'm doing it. This is the first time I'm uh, applying it myself. So bear with me and I'll let you know what all it is about. So it basically comes in a box like this. Uh, it looks very tiny. So I was a little surprised by the size of it. And this is how the box looks like. Uh, inside here is the device. And it also comes with a pamphlet which gives you the instructions for uh, how, how to apply it and all the details about it. So I'm just going to follow what is given here and uh, we'll see. So this is how uh, the device looks like. Uh, I think... Uh, the device and the sensor they are already inject like they are already attached together we just have to kind of unscrew this thing and you know like punch it on to the arms so let's see we'll try so this is the device i'm going to apply it on my arms now so let's see uh, there's like a small sticker here that you can see i think we have to uns unscrew it so let's try Okay, it was quite easy. Just once, like one screwing up and uh, this is how it looks like. This is the cap of it. And the sensor is already attached. And let's see, let's try. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's, I, I waited for a couple of seconds and let's see if it's done or not. Okay. Okay, this was pretty easy. I think I just had to punch this in a little harder, which I missed the first time. But this is how the sensor looks like. And it's quite tiny. Uh, it's a little surprising uh, because I've always been using the Libre Pro, so I'm used to the size. But this is quite tiny. So, I think, yeah, we are good. So, the second part of the uh, Lynx CGM is the mobile app. It's called as the Lynx app, which is available on both Android and iOS. And as you could see on the screen, uh, you should just click on it and it opens up. Uh, you have to pair the sensor uh, with the app. And um, I have played around with the app uh, for a little bit yesterday. I've already uh, set up, uh, given the necessary permissions, uh, I think there are a couple of permissions that you have to uh, say okay to and then uh, it will start working. Uh, it's uh, Bluetooth activated, so you have to ensure that your Bluetooth is on and once the Bluetooth is put on, it will detect the sensor which I just put on my arm and then I click on the name of the sensor which is shown here and then it starts the pairing process. Uh, you click on the pair and accept, uh, uh, click on pair and then let it connect. Uh, let's see how much time does it take. Okay, it was quick and uh, once the pairing is done, um, it's it goes into its warm-up phase uh, which lasts for around 60 minutes, one hour. And once that is done, uh, I think it will start recording the blood sugar readings. So uh, I'll let you know how uh, my experience is uh, using the Link CGM. And uh, uh, I've already set my um, blood sugar range here uh, from 70 to 170. Uh, so let's see if it gives the alarms or uh, notifications or what's the whole thing about. I'll keep you guys updated and we'll see how the new CGM works.